what's going on guys Nolan here from Neurotic RC today I'm going to show you how to use your satellite receiver with your A3 Super 4 gyro by Hobby Eagle so to connect your satellite receiver this is the DSM X satellite receiver you first need this voltage converter it lowers the voltage so it doesn't fry your satellite receiver so what's beneficial with this satellite receiver you don't have as many wires. So with a normal receiver, you need to have your all your servo leads connected to the gyro, then have Y adapters, then plug them into your receiver. So with this satellite receiver, on how it works, you plug your satellite receiver to your adapter, then plug it into this serial RX slash M port right here. Then you can plug in your ailerons, elevators, then rudder, and that's it. So then you can just have five or four leads, depending if you're doing a banking the anchor or not. And it saves a ton of room. So let's go on the computer and I'll show you how to change your binding protocol on your gyro to the satellite receiver. All right, so to connect your A3 Super 4 gyro, you first need to connect it to the Hobby Eagle A3 configurator. And you need to make sure you have the correct USB driver for your USB stick that came with your gyro. And make sure you have the correct software for your gyro. I'm not sure if this works for the other Hobby Eagle gyros. So to connect it, on this bottom left corner, it says unconnected. And once you have your drivers and everything installed, you can just click on that, then it will search for ports, then it will say COM3 connected. Okay, so once you have that, that means you're connected. So click connect. So you want to change how your driver wants to uh, connect to your receiver. So to do that, you need to go to receiver up here on the top. Then you need to click on, ser you see where serial type, click on serial digital receiver and make sure it's got the serial digital receiver selected. And once you have that selected, you need to click on this that says, it might be different on what your screen is, but you need to click on this, then you will choose which protocol this is gonna be searching for. I'm using a DSM-X satellite receiver, so it needs to search for the DSM-X, and you can use the DSM-2 satellite receiver. So then make sure whatever connection you want to use it I'm using the 204080 remote connection so click on that then the DSM binding option so this is the most important part make sure you select DSM X satellite or if you have a DSM 2 you click on the DSM 2 option I'm using a DSM X so I'm going to click on DSM X so one of the most important parts is trying to save it it cannot save quite right so you need to make sure it's saved correctly so you click right so this will write to the gyro it says it's all configured successfully so then to make sure it's all correct hit read and if nothing's changed then that means it's saved correctly so then you can just hit close and that's it then you can just disconnect your gyro and it's as simple as that so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial on how you can change your gyro protocol to connect to a satellite receiver. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial. If you have any questions or issues, please comment in the comment section. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and see you next time.